I'm from Donnelly Island, the Eastern Island in Torres Strait. Where I used to live on Donnelly, I used to make a lot of other things, but mainly fishing. Fishing is one of the things I never stop. I'm in the water every day, every morning. That's what a part, a part of my life, that's what I do. And I still go with the culture today. That's why I'm here to talk about here today about the saltwater country. That's where I'm from. Yarub, Danli Island. Like when I make landscape of Danli, I put a morning star. If you see the star all the time, you follow the star. People that are fishing on the boat, they follow the same star. In the summertime on the boat, they use a compass to get, take you to different position. We follow the star. Our forefathers, that's how they do it. They do it like that. And this one I put the landscape of Danli. Danli Island, or you call it Erub, language name. And I put quite a different things on that landscape. I've got a sunrise, like a morning star. I've got a sunlight and a fish trap. A biscuit flower in front. It's all by pulling the string and everything will move. In our language we call Womir, Womir. But Danli, when they come, they come out when the weather is getting very rough, it means to tell us not to go out fishing. Here we got local we got people that tell you the news. It's going to be rough tomorrow morning. It's going to be blowing 40 knots or 35 knots. Don't go fishing, fisherman. But here we got the birds up on Danli. When we see the birds come out, frigate bird, that's when you stop fishing. This one tells us the weather. The good weather, the bad weather is always there for us. I've always followed the frigate, but all the time, and this is one of our totem too. My family totem. The frigate bird is very beautiful, you know, beautiful bird. It stretches wing are nearly two meters apart. Beautiful pigeon. Eh? I was a little boy, my father used to used to shoot the frigate bird, you know, we eat the chest. Oh, the bird, very beautiful, like duck, beautiful red meat. But since I was growing up, I think I use I use a lot of feathers, so this one be good to use the feathers too, to make dairy address. Things that move, inspire me a lot because I know what how, how the fish move in the water, the shark, and I want to make the thing move exactly the same like they move in the water, chasing prey, you know. And when you see them, when you see things move like this, oh, excited you more, you want to do more, more big, big, bigger things, you know, and I love it. 